my name is Janika and welcome to the second part of our girls trip to Paris. If you haven't seen the first one, don't worry, you can watch it later if you feel like it. I really hope you'll enjoy this travel vlog. Now the first plan of the day is that we are going to head to a crepe restaurant for like a, yeah, brunch, I guess. We have found our way to the crepe restaurant or they sell like crepes and galettes. <laughs> Patiently waiting. <laughs> a quick pit stop at a bakery and we now came to the Luxembourg Gardens. We had some time to kill before our next thing so yeah we decided to come and relax here for a little bit. There's a lot of people just relaxing here and it's a nice atmosphere. Very nice. Let's try the gruffle. It's probably gonna be extremely messy to eat though. This is so good with Nutella inside. Our next destination is a bit more out of the ordinary, but we are going to the Museum of Mineralogy. While editing this video, I have noticed that there is a tiny piece of chocolate on my nose and somehow neither me or Sophia seem to have noticed it and it stays on me all day long. So yeah, don't ask me how that's possible, but just wanted to point that out because it is really annoying me now while editing, but... Oh well, no can do. So it's a museum about rocks. And yeah, this might sound very random, but my friend Sophia is a geologist, geologist. I, I don't know how geologist. Geologist. Yeah. Are you excited to get to go to a rock museum? Yeah. So this museum is inside of some kind of, feels like a student building or something. And we are the only customers here. You have to pay cash and yeah, ring a doorbell when visiting. But yeah, we have a private museum. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. My friend seems very happy to be here, so. First when coming in, it seems like a really tiny museum, but actually, um, it's a very big, so yeah, and we're the only ones here. Here you can touch a piece of Mars and also the moon, so that's pretty cool. We are now at a very famous street here 
close by the Eiffel Tower called Rue Claire. And we came to this little bike shop that sells macarons and stuff and bought some. And we're soon gonna head towards the Eiffel Tower to enjoy them. And my friend is practicing her French and she's told the lady that she was beautiful and she gave her <laughs> some free chocolate. So if you want some free chocolate, um, learn to say you are beautiful in French. <laughs> So eating macarons by the Eiffel Tower was a bit of a bucket list thing for me, so I can now check that. ordered myself a chai latte. Let's try it. Oh, it's hot. <coughs> Let's try it. I don't know. Drink it like this or something. She said it lost a lot. Oh yeah, it is strong. It has a strong ginger taste. It's good. Hello. So I'm doing a surprise visit here on the vlog. Yannicka uh, went to the toilet just a moment ago and I waiting for her, you know, a bit awkward in front of the camera, don't mind me, but yeah, uh, we are gonna go on a boat tour soon, so that's pretty exciting, and we're going to a nice restaurant this evening, that's also pretty goddamn exciting, this camera makes me look quite cute though, I don't know, how are you guys doing, had a nice day, going on any trips anytime soon, I hope you're to include this in the video, would be quite funny. Maybe you should get to know me. I'm quite often visiting Yannika's vlogs, regular occurring star. What would be a fun fact about me? I have around eight piercings. I, I'm like Yannika, I can speak three languages. I lived in Australia and the UK. I'm trying to learn French and I want to learn Japanese. I'm married. Hua baby Yannika. Love you very much. <laughs> what is going on over here? We seem to have found the top spot where everyone comes to get a photo with the Eiffel Tower. So if you also want a photo with the Eiffel Tower, um, I would recommend to come maybe early in the morning or something. Otherwise you will have some company. <laughs> Next up we have a boat tour and we actually got this like booking the hotel we got like a voucher of 40 euros to use here in Paris and yeah we chose to use it for this boat tour that we're about to do. We are now on the boat and yeah it was a long queue but it was a huge boat so we got a nice spot outside. You could choose if you want to sit inside or outside but we thought yeah it's gonna look nicer when you're on the outside you know there won't be any window reflection or anything going on but of course it's gonna be a bit more cold here but we are finished we can handle it <laughs>
going underneath the most romantic bridge and you're supposed to kiss and close your eyes and make a wish. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> Sounds very poetic. But how should we do? First the wish or first the kiss? Or? First the kiss, then the wish. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and now a wish. I've done my wish. The wish has better come true. I know. <laughs> We are currently stranded at some random metro station. Uh, we took one metro and we were supposed to switch. We are trying to get back to our hotel, but it jumped over a bunch of stations and it jumped over the station we were supposed to get off from and switch metros. And then we got to some other really random station and then there was another train we could have taken or metro we could have taken from there. But then they told us that the whole station <laughs> closed down. Today is a big protest day, so I think it has something to do with it. And yeah, now we're trying to get an Uber, but obviously everyone's trying to get an Uber, so it's very expensive and yeah, we probably have to wait for quite a long time. We're quite far away from our hotel, it's like an hour walk and we both need to go to the toilet really, really badly. And I'm, for us. And I'm almost out of battery on my phone as well, so and I need to try and get an Uber for us. Hopefully we can get back to our hotel somehow before our bladders <laughs> burst completely. <laughs> And I look completely crazy, but oh well. You and me both. It's been a wild day. We fought some kangaroos, yeah. some angry Frenchmen. <laughs> no. I checked, it's they're closing because they protest at the moment, so Metro is striking as well. Oh, we got a ride! Nine minutes away. Okay. It was very expensive, like we took uh, Uber from this same area yesterday evening and it was like 14 euros from this quite same area and now it was 24 euros, so much more expensive, but yeah, I get it. If we can just get to our hotel, I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah, I just want to be really bad. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so because of the metro strike, our... Oh. <laughs> you too? Thank you. Yeah. Our original plan for tonight's dinner didn't really work out because of the metro strike. We were much later at the hotel than planned and the place was a bit far away and we were yeah, originally supposed to take the metro there and then we wouldn't have really made it there in time. The area where our hotel is is full of restaurants so we decided to come to one of these places here and we decided on a Korean restaurant and we both ordered some udon. Yeah, it's quite late, it's like almost 10.30 at the moment. <laughs> so it's a bit of a late dinner, but oh well. I got like a crepe with hazelnut cream and Nutella and he asked me which one do I want more of and then he made a joke that he'll put more of both and it's there's so much oh my god it's like heavy 80% chocolate sauce I don't know how to eat this without making a pure mess doing still a little face mask to end the day <laughs> I've got the face mask on now. Or oh, yeah, we both have it on and we have to wait 10 to 15 minutes and then it's supposed to be a peel off mask. So, you know, we should be sleeping by now. We've been out all day doing stuff. It's past midnight, but no, here we are doing face masks instead. Okay, time to try and get this off me. Uh... Ow, it hurts. Ow. <laughs> Ow, 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 This was supposed to be relaxing. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Why am I not sleeping? Why am I doing this? Oh. Today is unfortunately our last day here in Paris, but we still have the full day ahead of us. We're now getting ready to check out from our hotel and then 
my train back to the Netherlands doesn't leave until 5.30. But yeah, we still have a fun day ahead of us and we're first gonna go and have something to eat. And after that, we're going to this church called Saint Chapelle. <laughs> We've come to a breakfast place called Cozy here nearby the Notre Dame. Yeah, we both ordered this halloumi avocado toast thingy and some smoothies. We now came to this place called 59 Rivoli and it's like this artistic studio and atelier. It's free of entrance and we accidentally came here right when it opened and it looks very <laughs> unique and very cool. was to go to one of the gardens and sit and chill but <laughs> it started raining or yeah it's not raining very much but still enough for it not to be maybe very nice to sit in a park so yeah we're now having some bubble tea at this little bubble tea place and I got a kiwi flavored fruit tea it's really good said goodbye to Sofia and it's always a bit sad and now I have still one hour time before my train leaves and I don't really know what to do I would like to sit down maybe somewhere I came to one of these restaurants by the train station this one had a bit better reviews than others and I just ordered a pesto pasta
my last meal in Paris. This was my first time that I visited Paris uh, when I've been an adult. And I must say I've been actually pleasantly surprised with everything. Of course, there's the strikes uh, with the trash and metro. But other than that, I think everything's been really beautiful. And you always hear people saying that French waiters and people are... The stereotype is that they're very rude, especially if you don't speak French. But honestly, 99% of the people we've met during this trip have been so friendly and nice and helpful and even like touristic just like at touristic areas they've been really nice and yeah it's been a really lovely trip and I can definitely understand why you know the hype behind this city of course it is a big city and you know it's not always the cleanest and there's always a bit of noise and that kind of stuff but you know what can you expect from a big city that's what it's like you know so yeah I definitely want to come again there's so much to see and do and yeah, we were only here for three days, so we definitely didn't have time to see and do everything. So many things I would still like to experience here, but like the catacombs, for example. But I'll have to leave that for my next trip here. And yeah, I'm pretty sure there will be a next trip. So yeah. Okay, so I am now back in the Netherlands. I am at the Rotterdam Central Station and I am waiting for a train to take me back home to Leiden. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you have enjoyed joining me and my friend to Paris. And let me know, have you ever visited? And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more adventures. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye!